If you're running macOS 13 Ventura and have updated to Apple Keynote version 12.2, then you have access to a great new feature in Keynote called Background Removal. You can use Background Removal to quickly remove the backgrounds from photos that you use in your Keynote slideshows. But where Background Removal really shines is with live video. You can basically do green screen without the green screen. Now, if you don't know about the live video feature in Keynote or how it works, I have an in-depth tutorial on that. I'll leave a link in the description. Otherwise, let's jump in. All right, here we are in Keynote, and I have a demo project with a few slides. I'm going to place my talking head on top of these slides and then export the entire project as a video with narration, your standard tutorial or lecture style video. To start, I'll select this first slide. Then I'll go up to the top toolbar and select the media button. Then go down and select live video. And up pops a live shot of me. I'll go over to the settings window and under the format section, make sure the live video button is selected. And you see we have a bunch of settings. If you want to understand how this live video section works, again, watch my other tutorial on how to use live video in Keynote. But basically, the live video section here is set to my default camera, which is my mirrorless camera connected to my Mac using an Elgato CamLink 4K capture card, which is what it says here. I'm going to change the shape of my video window by going down to this mask setting and changing it from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3 to crop out a bit of the background that I don't need to see. I'll leave the other settings as is, except I'm going to go down to the background setting and check the box over here and watch what happens. Poof! The background is gone. Now, it's not perfect with live video, but it's pretty good. The better your lighting, the better the background removal results, I find. But more importantly, you don't need a green screen to get this effect. If you're curious, here's what background removal looks like with a green screen. All right, back over here without the green screen, you can see background removal has a few settings. This box with the slash through it means the background of the live video window has no fill. It's empty or transparent. But if you click on this menu, you get a few other background choices. You can fill the background with a color or a gradient, an advanced gradient, even an image. I'll leave you to play around with those different settings. Now I can just resize and reposition my live video window down to the corner here. Now, I want my talking head to appear on all of the slides in my slideshow. So, I'll select my talking head live video window on this first slide. Right click or control click. Select copy. Go over and select my second slide. Right click or control click on the slide. Select paste. And there's my talking head live video on the second slide down in the corner. No need to position it. I'll do the same copy and paste to the rest of the slides. Now my talking head live video will cover all of the slides in my slideshow. So let's see what this live video project looks like as a video. To do that, I'll go back and select my first slide because that's where I want my video to begin. Then I'll go up to the top menu in Keynote and select Play record slideshow. And that brings up Keynote's slideshow recording interface. And there's me down in the corner as expected. Now if you want to know more about how to use Keynote's recording interface, I've got a video on that too. Again, link in the description. But for now, before I create this video, I need to make sure I set up my microphone so that you can hear me talk as I narrate these slides. So I'll close out of the recording interface by going up and selecting this X button up here. Then I'm going to go way up to the corner of the top menu and select the Apple icon. And from the menu, select System Settings, which in previous macOS versions was called System Preferences. This opens the macOS 13 Ventura System Settings panel. In the left menu, I'll select Sound. Then under the Output and Input section, 
I'll select the microphone I want to use for recording my slideshow narration, which in this case is the Rode VideoMic NTG. So while speaking into the microphone, I'll adjust the input volume slider until I get an input level that peaks in the third to last notch on the level meter. I'll close out of system settings, then go back to Keynote's recording interface. And now you can see down here, as I speak into the microphone, the sound level meter bouncing back and forth, which tells me my mic audio is coming into Keynote. All right, I'm ready to record. So I'll go down and select this little red record button. And I get a countdown. And now we're recording. So now all I need to do is step through my presentation by hitting the forward arrow key. And you can see my animations or builds happening on the slides. And I can speak and speak over what I'm showing here. And as I just step through all of my slides here to finish this three phases of production mini presentation here. And then when you're done recording, all you have to do is go back down and click the little red record button again. And this long blue line at the bottom here is my recording. I'll play it back real quick by selecting the play button over here. And now we're recording. So now all I need to do is step through my presentation by hitting the forward arrow key. And you can see my animations or builds happening on the slides. And I can speak and speak over what I'm showing here. And as I just step through all of my slides here to finish this three phases of production mini presentation here. And then when you're done recording, all you have to do is go back down and click the little red record button again. And everything looks like it recorded. So to turn this recorded slideshow into a video that I can upload to YouTube or another platform, I'll first close out of the Keynote recording interface by selecting the X in the corner again. Then I'll go up to Keynote's top menu and select File, Export to Movie. In the Movie Export menu, I'll make sure Playback is set to Slideshow Recording because that's what I want to turn into a video. I'll leave resolution set to the 1080p preset, which is fine for YouTube. You can find out more about these other movie export settings in my other keynote recording tutorial linked in the description. I'll hit next. Name the exported file and find a place to save it to on my Mac. Then hit export. And here's the video exported from Keynote with the live video background removed. And now we're recording. So now all I need to do is step through my presentation by hitting the forward arrow key, pretty slick. And you can see my animations or builds. With the background removal tool, Keynote gets another step closer to becoming an all-in-one video creation tool. And if you're interested in more ways to use Apple Keynote to create videos for YouTube and beyond, have a look at this playlist on my channel.